The day that I met Phil, we gave a gospel message to follow Christ the rest of their lives. That was the beginning of a real miracle in Philip Aguilar's life. He cares so much about people that he won't quit on them, never. He just doesn't quit on people, no matter what they do or how bad they are. So people wanted to follow him. When I was getting close to uh, 10, 11, 12, I could tell that there's turmoil in my house. So I blamed God. Man, I needed someone to love me. I needed some help. We would jump people, steal stuff, went on a roller coaster ride with drugs and alcohol and women and violence. They gave me a one to 10 year sentence in state prison. And this was the beginning of a new life as I started to sober up. It's not just a name, it's a way of life. And set free was that piece that was missing for a lot of people where they finally felt, I'm home. Sure enough, man, he was a different man. Some of them are feeling shameful right now. Some of them will feel guilty, some of them will laugh like it's no big deal, but they're the ones usually hurting the most. They've had plenty of time to stew, relive it through, what's going to happen, am I going to be booted out, is this going to happen? All those feelings, those emotions and all things, that's part of the detoxification process. All our friends are, excuse the word, they're, they're prostitutes, they're drug addicts, they're, you know, these are nefarious people. Here you had biker and gang members, to me that was groundbreaking. In the outside everybody looked tough and mean and rough. They just gave you the biggest, warmest bear hugs. Not only do they take these kids off the streets and out of drugs and all kinds of problems and get them dried out and then filled up with the Holy Spirit, Pastor Phil loves them, trains them, teaches them. It's about keeping them alive for another day and hopefully lose it, the addiction. I've adopted everybody I work with, I adopt them into my family because the two words that describe what I do, why I do it, I care. 